welcome to a very special newscast. This is our first ever newscast where we are going to be on YouTube. So hello to YouTube. So you can now catch us both on the podcast for Dog and Thimble, or you can catch us on our YouTube channel if you want to actually see me read the news. I'm not sure why anyone would want to do that. But if you do, you can have that on your Mondays. I'm your host, Hillary Goldstein, here to read off the news to you of everything that matters in the world of board games. So let's get to it, folks. Playtest Vikings Longships and earn a spot in Valhalla. Valhalla is sort of a big deal. You have to be a true warrior to merit entry into the halls upon death, and your reward every day fighting. If that doesn't sound appealing, well, you'd be a really sh Viking. Catalyst Games Labs wants to give you that chance to earn your place in Valhalla as a playtester for its upcoming game based on the History Channel show. Vikings Longships is a card game where players are sailing west to raid. You'll not only have to worry about resistance on the shore, but rival Vikings looking to steal your shot at fame. This is a game of playing cards in secret and then revealing your true intentions simultaneously with other players. Designed by Boyan Radovich, the core game is based on the classic Prisoner's Dilemma game theory. Now, let me educate you all if you don't know what the Prisoner's Dilemma is. See, the Prisoner's Dilemma poses a pair of suspects with two choices. Say nothing or finger the other suspect for the crime. The best outcome is if neither prisoner, who are both separated and don't know what the other is saying, both remain quiet. They just have to trust the other won't turn on them. However, if one prisoner fingers another, that silent suspect gets extra jail time and the snitch goes free. But if both prisoners point a finger at one another, well, they both end up with extra jail time. So you can see how Vikings might play out. Your best outcome is if you play some sort of neutral card in secret and your opponent does the same. But can you trust them? If not, maybe you are better off turning on them. But then again, if everyone ends up making the same choice and turns on each other, you likely have a big bloody fracas on hand and you all suffer the most. Sounds like a promising concept. And you can get on uh, and you can get in on the playtesting Vikings longships right now. As first noted by Tabletop Gaming News, you can head over to the Catalyst Tumblr to read the requirements, and I will post that link on YouTube and on our show notes on dogandthimble.com if you're just listening to the podcast version. Get rich or die trying with Machikoro Millionaire's Row. Machikoro is a cute little card game and dice game as well that I kind of dug. Uh, we have a review of it actually on our YouTube channel if you want to learn more about it. It has the distinction of being Dog and Thimble's first ever review. That's right, that is the first one we ever did. The core game is fun, but it is a bit shallow and in need of additional location cards. Well, looky here. Today, IDW Games announced the second Machi Koro expansion Millionaire's Row available in June. Now, IDW is staying light on the details, but the expansion includes 12 new establishments and more than 80 total cards. Along with the previously released expansion, Machikoro Harbor expansion, that brings the total available locations just north of 30. Millionaire's Row brings a dastardly new mechanic to the game. The cleaning company, as it's named in the Japanese version, can put another location quote-unquote on vacation. When the cleaning company is activated, you can choose any landmark... I'm sorry, you can choose any non-landmark card to send on vacation. All cards of the type are tapped and their effect is no longer active. The next time those cards would activate, they instead untap and are available for use again. IDW also gave us a sneak peek at another card game coming with a set. The Loan Office. Zero cost. Gain five coins when you buy it. Pay two every time it activates. Expect Machikoro Millionaire's Row by the end of June. Swords and Dragons get way more awesome this summer. There are a few humorous takes on the world of dragons and the heroes who slay them. Munchkin is perhaps the most, the most successful of these, more successful than my ability to say the word successful, a card game that has tongue strongly planted in cheek, which often actually makes it hard to talk. I don't know if you ever put your tongue in your cheek, but you can't really talk when you do that, so kind of a weird expression. Now, IDW Games wants to enter the fray with Awesome Kingdom, Tower of Hate Skull, a new card game from Kevin Wilson, who designed Descent and Arkham Horror, that promises to give you a chuckle as you dungeon dive for treasure. You are one of eight epic heroes. The list includes Ragebarian, Prestidigimancers, and Paladude, plunging into the depths of a dungeon in search of gold and other goodies. You'll battle monsters, avoid traps, and then fight your way back with hopefully the biggest loot haul. Wilson cites Saturday morning cartoons as the main inspiration. Quote, 
I tried to channel that sense of unrestrained fun of those old 80s shows, he says. We're hoping Awesome Kingdom available this summer can equal and surpass those great 80s classics. Portal Games hopes size don't matter. Portal Games is shrinking down for its first ever micro game. What's a micro game? No, it's not a game with teeny tiny cards. It's just a game that's short, lasting under 30 minutes. Set in the ancient world, Tides of Time pits two players against one another in what Portal Games promises is an experience with more strategic depth than the average micro game. Rounds are played through a five card draft, love, love card drafts, with players choosing one uh, card and then passing their hand across the table. Each round you're making one key choice, build your kingdom or sabotage your opponent. At the end of every round, you'll choose one card to keep as a relic of the past and another to remove from the game forever. Portal Games has a solid track record, so even though they haven't seen, even though we haven't seen the cards yet, this is one worth a little micro bit of hype. Tide to Time comes with 18 cards, relic tokens, a score pad, and a pencil. Whoever includes a pencil in their games, that's awesome. Selling for $12 in the U.S., it will release this July at Gen Con, which is not all that far away. And now, it is time for our Kickstarter Spotlight. So what happens when you mix One Night Ultimate Werewolf with The Resistance? The answer is our Kickstarter Spotlight of the Week. Okay, just a little bit of a womp womp. This uses the One Night Ultimate Werewolf rules, but it does not have actual werewolves in it. But this is basically The Resistance played out in just a few minutes. There are spies, and there's The Resistance, and in the course of one night, you gotta figure out who is who. If the spies manage to remain hidden throughout the night, they win. If not, they get executed. That's in the game, of course. If I don't recommend that you actually execute your friends because they lost a game. That's really messed up. You can back one night resistance for as little as $25. The project had a goal of $10,000, and it is well past that as of this recording. In fact, it's just a few dollars shy of $75,000. It's expected to ship to backers this September. Well, that's all the time I have for this week. Join me again next week for another newscast where I wrap up all the board game news worth listening to from the week before. That way you never miss anything important in the world of board games. If you enjoy this, please subscribe to us on iTunes. It will really help us out. And subscribe to us on YouTube. We are about to ramp up our YouTube channel. We're going to have tons of new videos coming out, and I don't want you to miss a thing. So head on over to youtube.com backslash dog and thimble for that. And of course, search for us dog and thimble on iTunes to find our podcast. Thanks again. I'm Hillary Goldstein. And until next time, go inside and play some games. (laughs) 